Are you doing a lot of jump training and seeing no results? Well, let's talk about it. You see, the reason you're doing all that training and not seeing any results is because of how you're training. It's important that our training mimics the same movements that we will see in competition. So let's talk about the different kind of jumps you should be doing. Static jumps, this is jumping from a non-mobile position without moving your feet. And this will help with jumping out of a defensive stance or static positions. The next one is a one-step takeoff. My front foot is in a static position and my back leg swings forward before I go into my jump. In basketball, this would happen when I box out right before I go and get a rebound. The two-step jump is the one that's gonna produce the most force and it's gonna be the one that helps me jump the highest. We would do this on fast breaks or when running at full speed. The double jump is a second jump immediately after a jump. This is useful for recovering missed layups or for putback dunks, and we see guys like Zion Williamson do this really well in the NBA. Seated jumps get you comfortable exploding from low positions, and drop jumps really help you with muscle elasticity and working on that second jump. Games are played more on one leg than on two, so it's important that you're working on your individual leg jumping as well. And we don't just jump straight up and down, so it's important to train in different directions.